Read this lesson four times at intervals of one week apart. You will see much in the lesson the fourth time you read it that you did not see the first time. Your success in mastering this course and in making it bring you success will depend very largely, if not entirely, upon how well you follow all the instructions it contains. Do not set up your own rules of study. Follow those laid down in the course, as they are the result of years of thought and experimentation. If you wish to experiment, wait until you master this course in the manner suggested by its author. You will then be in position to experiment more safely. For the present, content yourself by being the student. You will, let us hope, become the teacher as well as the student after you have followed the course until you have mastered it. If you follow the instructions laid down in this course for the guidance of its students, you can no more fail than water can run uphill above the level of its source. Instructions for Applying the Principles of this Lesson Through the introductory lesson of this course, you became familiar with the principle of psychology known as the mastermind. You are now ready to begin use of this principle as a means of transforming your definite chief aim into reality. It must have occurred to you that one might as well have no definite chief aim unless one has also a very definite and practical plan for making that aim become a reality. Your first step is to decide what your major aim in life should be. Your next step is to write out a clear, concise statement of the same. This should be followed by a statement in writing of the plan or plans through which you intend to attain the object of your aim. Your next and final step will be the forming of an alliance with some person or persons who will cooperate with you in carrying out these plans and transforming your definite chief aim into reality. The purpose of this friendly alliance is to employ the law of the mastermind in support of your plans. The alliance should be made between yourself and those who have your highest and best interests at heart. If you are a married man, your wife should be one of the members of this alliance, providing there exists between you a normal state of confidence and sympathy. Other members of this alliance may be your mother, father, brothers or sisters, or some close friend or friends. If you are a single person, your sweetheart, if you have one, should become a member of your alliance. This is no joke. You are now studying one of the most powerful laws of the human mind, and you will serve your own best interests by seriously and earnestly following the rules laid down in this lesson, even though you may not be sure where they will lead you. Those who join with you in the formation of a friendly alliance for the purpose of aiding you in the creation of a master mind should sign, with you, your statement of the object of your definite chief aim. Every member of your alliance must be fully acquainted with the nature of your object in forming the alliance. Moreover, every member must be in hearty accord with this object, and in full sympathy with you. Each member of your alliance must be supplied with a written copy of your statement of your definite chief aim. With this exception, however, you are explicitly instructed to keep the object of your chief aim to yourself. The world is full of doubting Thomases, and it will do your cause no good to have these rattle-brained people scoffing at you and your ambitions. Remember, what you need is friendly encouragement and help, not derision and doubt. If you believe in prayer, you are instructed to make your definite chief aim the object of your prayer, at least once every twenty-four hours, and more often if convenient. If you believe there is a God who can and will aid those who are earnestly striving to be of constructive service in the world, Surely you feel that you have a right to petition him for aid in the attainment of what should be the most important thing in life to you. If those who have been invited to join your friendly alliance believe in prayer, ask them also to include the object of this alliance as a part of their daily prayer. Comes now one of the most essential rules which you must follow. Arrange with one or all of the members of your friendly alliance to state to you, in the most positive and definite terms at their command, that... They know you can and will realize the object of your definite chief aim. This affirmation or statement should be made to you at least once a day, more often if possible. These steps must be followed persistently, with full faith that they will lead you where you wish to go. It will not suffice to carry out these plans for a few days or a few weeks and then discontinue them. You must follow the described procedure until you attain the object of your definite chief aim regardless of the time required. From time to time it may become necessary to change the plans you have adopted for the achievement of the object of your definite chief aim. Make these changes without hesitation, 
No human being has sufficient foresight to build plans which need no alteration or change. If any member of your friendly alliance loses faith in the law known as the mastermind, immediately remove that person and replace him or her with some other person.